Hi guys, it's Brooklyn and welcome to my channel. So today's video is gonna be this review on this hair mask which is called Garnier Ultimate Blend Honey Treasure Strengthening Hair Mask. So basically, um spoiler alert, I love this mask. You can get it from Boots Superdrug, Savers, Semi Chem, I think you can get it in Poundland too. I'm not entirely sure but I know Savers do it and Boots and Super Drug, they all do it. But I recommend definitely going for Savers or Semi Chem because it's a lot cheaper than Super Drug. I bought this the last time I got it, which was last week, no, two weeks ago, when I'm filming this. And that was in Super Drug and it was like £7. Whereas when I got it from Savers, it was more like £4. So it's a no brainer. So Garnier Ultimate Blends have a range of different hair curl ranges within one range the ultimate blends are meant to be more like the natural type of hair products i have coconut oil coconut butter they have the honey one they have i think avocado as well i'm not entirely sure but i know i've tried the honey one i've tried like their coconut one i think they've got two different types of coconut ones this one's a honey treasures one and it's meant to be a really nice nice strengthening yeah her remedy strengthening mask so it's meant to be good if you've got like a lot of bleach in your hair let's say for instance or a lot of color or your hair just feels a bit in need of a strengthening up and a repair the honey treasures one definitely is nice whereas the coconut one the one in like a darker brown packaging that one's meant to smooth your hair if you've got a lot of frizz or your hair is dry I would definitely recommend going for the coconut one but if you have like bleached hair then this one so they have repackaged the masks and it used to look like that if you're wondering that's the same product when it's repackaged just noticed that now when i looked at the top of the mask but yeah i was wondering why like <laughs> it was a different package but duh, they just repackaged it but i have tried a lot of the masks from Garnier, I love the Herford ones, but with Fur Ultimate Blends, definitely. So, this honey one is a proper thick. You could tell I've loved it already. It's already been like used a few times since I bought it again. It has a beautiful honey smell. It's beautiful. See, when you put it on your hair, like the smell is absolutely divine. It's quite a thick mask, as you can tell from the edges. It doesn't like spill out or anything. So it's quite a good texture, whereas masks should be like on the thicker side to kind of help get a lot of goodness into your hair. It does blend or move onto your hair. That's the right word, I think. Yeah, blend. It does kind of spread. No, it's spread. I'm dumb today. Right. It does spread evenly onto your hair when you plait onto your hair. I tend to put mine on from root to tip, but I tend to focus more on the ends of my hair. So I just kind of get a whole load of the mask and put it all over. I've got quite thick hair, if you haven't noticed, it's quite thick. So um, I tend to use quite a bit of this. I don't use like a ridiculous amount. I use like a dollop or two dollops, whatever, if I need any more, I use more. If I need less, I use less. But I tend to find I rather saturate my hair more in masks than use not enough. And I leave it on for like five minutes while I do my exfoliation from a tan. So yeah, it's like a two birds for fun some type of situation. I find my hair feels absolutely divine once my, this is rinsed out of my hair. My hair just feels amazing. My hair feels like silk. It feels stronger. It feels healthier it just feels really moisturized nourished it just feels amazing this mask if you've got like bleach bleach tar like myself you need this and it's like a drugstore one so it isn't too dear compared to some of the masks you'll buy in where would it be like some of the like more dear ones <laughs> like the one you see like on 
like Instagram, you can see people endorsing the really, really dear, like £20, £30 masks. And like, no, if you get a good one, like this one, if it depends on where you get it from, it'll only set you back four to seven pound. It's worth it. And this mask, you do get um, 340 mils and that's really good, especially if you've got thicker hair. I tend to find with my hair, because I use too much of a mask, I use too much product because I've got quite thick hair and I like to make sure I've got everything covered. I tend to go through masks really, really quickly. This one will last me around two to three months. Well, three months, I would say, which is quite good for me. So I slather my hair in the mask. I just do. Um, so I'll just read what it says more in the package. So it just says for, it actually says one minute. I leave it on for longer. I never read the packaging before I do this video. I should do though. Um, one minute, fragile breaking hair. So it's good if your hair is prone to breakage, bleached hair. You need this. Or if your hair just generally is a weaker hair type, you need this. <laughs> now, if you've got thinner hair, use less of it. I feel like if you've got quite thin, fine hair, this will last you months upon months. It really, really will. And then it just says, um... Akakia, Akakia honey, and what's that say? Beeswax. I can't read. I'm blind. <laughs> it's like Akakia honey and beeswax, it hasn't it? So it's really got a good lot of good stuff in this mask, which I love. Hectin does make it look more luxurious and actually glad they've changed the packaging from what it used to be. What it used to be, there wasn't really anything wrong with that, but I think this one just looks more luxurious, like mask type of packaging, which is nice. So it looks like you're using a really expensive hair mask and I get excited to use this on my hair when I'm watching my hair. I'm like, I get to use my favorite masks. I would say this one is definitely one of my favorites, if not my favorite mask. I just love it so much. So when I say it's for you, I would say if you are looking for a budget friendly really really good mask definitely if you're looking for a strengthening mask and it really does work definitely and if you have like bleached hair or really processed hair colored hair like chemically treated type any type of hair it's chemically treated definitely or even if you've used a lot of heat in your hair and you want to really take care of your hair now definitely and if you're looking for a mask that's going to last ages, it's not going to be running out really, really quick. Definitely, this will last you months. Even if you have thick hair, this will last you months, at least three months. So, yeah. And if you're looking for a mask that's accessible, definitely this one is. And I think Garnet, they do have like the stock Garnet all over the world, I think. I'm not entirely sure. I know. They do Garnet in the US, do it in Australia, they do it in the UK where I'm from. Like Spain, I think. All different places of stock Garnet. So hopefully you find this mask. I really hope you do because it's an amazing, amazing mask. And if you're looking for a really, really good like, strength from the mask, going to stop your heart from breaking, definitely you need this in your life. And if you're looking for one that's going to make your hair feel like silk, definitely. It's not going to be for you if you've got thin and fine hair and you don't really have damage in your hair, but you're looking for a lightweight conditioner. No, this is like a heavy duty mask. And it's not going to be for you if you um, can't get Garnier where you're from, then no. I'm not entirely sure if Garnier's cruelty free. I hope it is though. But if it's not and you're really a stickler for cruelty free products or vegan products, then no. But I don't know, is, is this one vegan? Does it say? It says it has 97% natural ingredients. So if you're looking for a natural mask, it's for you. But um, I don't know whether it is cruelty free or vegan. But if it is cruelty free or vegan, it's for you if you're really stickler in lap, but if you're 
if it's not and you just couldn't touch anything that isn't cruelty free which i understand then it's not gonna be for you so i hope you enjoyed this video and i'll see you again for the next one stay gorgeous god bless bye